hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so on today's video we are going to do my mini braids together so before i start braiding this is what i do um i first of all stretched out my hair with um thread as you can see i do not use anything heat on my hair so i don't i don't use dryer i always do this after every wash day or anytime i want my hair to be stretched out i just use this um thread to do it and it's very simple very very simple so this video this braiding video actually got a lot of criticism on tiktok because i don't understand a lot of people are saying that my hair is not for c hair i don't get it like it's my hair i know my hair my hair is for c as you can see like I don't I don't get it. I don't know. People keep on I don't know. They want it to be like pu uh, pubic hair before they believe that is um forcey hair. They want it to be like pubic hair on your on top of your head. Very tiny. Like we have um different type of forcey hair. My hair shrinks a lot. This hair that you are seeing it shrinks a lot. It shrinks a lot. So I always stretch it out. Either I put it on, like I do braid out or I use thread. It shrinks a lot. If you leave it for five minutes, like it will, it would, it will tangle. The funny thing is that most of them are saying that um, it's manageable and it's not, tang it's not, it's detangled and it's long and healthy. Like I don't get it. So my hair has to be. A fussy hair has to be in shrinkage state every time of the day. I don't get it. Some people are so shallow on TikTok. Like most of the comments, when I see it, like I'll be like, "What? What the fuck? Can't you excuse my language?" But like, it's actually it, it doesn't make sense at all. It doesn't make sense. Like my hair has to be uh, uh, tangled. It has to be rough. For it to be forced here, I, I, like it's not making any sense. You yourself, reason now. I work so hard for this hair. Like I use my rosemary and cloves water hair growth treatment every single day. I added hibis uh, hibiscus. Like I work so hard. I do a lot of things for my hair because I want my hair to be very long and healthy. I want it to be on my waist. I want the 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 waist length. I want it like that. I don't care if it's 4C or people think that 4C cannot grow to that length. I don't care. I know that my hair is 4C and I will grow it to that as to that place that I want it to be. And I'm almost there. Look at this is 11 months. 11 months. If you see my, you already, you all of you, you have already seen my um, throwback. So I don't really care. I'm just so proud of my growth and I'll keep on sharing my content so that other people struggling with their hair growth will also have solution to their problems. Watch this video to the end and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. The lines are not well parted because the main purpose of me doing this braid is to be able to use my rosemary and cloves water hair growth treatment, not to sleep. The length and the volume is given 10 over 10.
Well, well, well. So it took me almost nine hours to finish this. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. But like it's giving. Look, the pant the patterns are not uh, straight, but like it's actually giving. It's neat. It's very, very neat. I'm so proud of myself. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.